This is the Lemon 3. It's a fully open source digital audio workstation in a box. The source code, enclosure CAD files, PCB CAD files, firmware, and build guide are all publicly available on GitHub and are linked in the video description below. The Juice C++ framework was used for programming the DAW. FreeCAD was used for the enclosure design, and KeyCAD was used for the PCB design. These frameworks and software packages are all freely available and open source. Let's explore some of the main screens of the software. The settings screen allows basic settings to be modified. You probably won't need to change these very much. The tempo screen allows us to set a tempo and adjust metronome volume. Let's set the tempo to 110 BPM. I'll also raise the metronome volume a bit. Let's take a look at the track screen. We can use the encoders to explore this screen. Encoder 1 changes the selected track. Encoder 2 adjusts the loop in position. We can also adjust the start position by holding the lemon button. To disable looping, press the loop button. Encoder 3 controls the playhead position. We can hold the lemon button and move beat by beat. You can also push the encoders. Pushing encoder 1 full screens the current track, while pushing encoder 3 will settle the track, and encoder 4 will mute the track. We can double tap the stop button to move back to the beginning of the song. If we want to add some content to a track, we need to add plugins to it. Pressing the plugins button will bring up a new screen. Press plus to add a plugin. We can select between instruments and effects using encoder 1 and we can use encoder 2 to select the desired plugin. Let's add some drums using the drum sampler plugin. We can select a drum kit by pressing encoder 1 and then select the kit we want. Drum kits are simply directories of samples mapped to MIDI notes via a configuration file. This one has a few cool drum sounds. Instead of recording the notes ourselves, we will use the step sequencer. Press the sequencers button to bring up a list of sequencers. Currently, the only sequencer available is the step sequencer. The step sequencer has 16 available steps. We can change the length of the sequence using encoder 1. Encoder 2 can be used to set steps to be quarter, eighth, or sixteenth notes. Let's go with quarter for now. Turning encoder 3 will move the selected step. To add a note to the sequence, hold the plus button and press the note. Let's add a few more. To delete a note, press the minus button. You can also hold the minus button and use encoder 3 to delete a whole section of notes at once. We can program a simple drum beat with bass, snare, and hi-hats. Play the sequence back with the play button. That's a little slow. Let's change it to use eighth notes instead. Once we are satisfied, we can return to the tracks view and see that a clip has been inserted with our sequence already in it. Let's add a baseline on track two. We can use the sampler plugin for this. Pressing encoder 1 shows the available samples. These samples are simply audio files added to a special config directory that gets loaded by the application on startup. You can see I've added quite a few. This one sounds pretty cool. The sampler is relatively simple. We can adjust sample start time and end time.
We can also adjust the sampler gain. Let's use the step sequencer again to sequence a bass line. I'll use eighth notes and program something relatively simple. Once we're satisfied, we can switch back to the track screen and see that our sequence has been added. Let's cut and paste these clips to give us a longer song. We can do that using the cut button to cut the clip into memory, and then the paste button to paste it repeatedly. We'll do the same with track one. Let's add the 4 plug plugin to the third track. We can use the encoders to change the available settings. Note that pressing the lemon key will show secondary settings on the same page. We can play the instrument using the keyboard keys. If you want to change the keyboard octave, you can use the lemon button along with the plus and minus buttons. We can use the plus and minus buttons alone to move through the pages of available settings. There's oscillator 2, oscillator 3, and oscillator 4. On the fifth page is an envelope screen where we can adjust the ADSR parameters of the synth. On the sixth page is a filter screen, which also has an envelope. Let's add some effects. Let's add a reverb. And we can adjust the room size. We can also add multiple effects, so let's add a delay. Effects can be enabled and disabled. We can also just delete them. Instead of using the sequencer, let's record this to a track. Back on the track screen, you can press the record button. After the count in, we'll record some notes. Press stop to stop the recording, then double tap it to go back to the beginning of the song. You can press play to hear what we recorded. We can edit the track as well. The slice button can be used to slice a clip at the playhead. We can then cut that part of the clip away. If you mess something up, you can always press undo. The save button can be useful to save progress along the way. The loop button can be used to toggle looping, and we can set the in and out points as well. We can also do this using encoder too. We can use the plus and minus buttons to add and remove tracks. You can add as many tracks as you want, but the Pi might not be able to handle it if you add too many. Let's take a look at the mixer screen. The mixer is fairly straightforward. We have master track controls and the controls for all the other tracks in our song. Encoder 1 changes the selected track. Encoder 3 changes the pan of the selected track, and Encoder 4 changes the gain. We can also solo and mute the selected track as well. 
Switch back to the tracks view so we can play the song from the beginning. And let's check out the levels in the mixer. Anything that's red is clipping and should have its gain adjusted. The last few features are pretty cool. We'll use the 4 eyes track for this, or track 3. One thing I haven't covered yet is the pitch bin stick. The pitch bin stick can be used to change the pitch of the notes over time like this. This currently only works with the 4 eyes plugin, but will hopefully be extended to work with the sampler in the future. The last feature is modifiers. The only modifier currently available is the LFO. We can select a plugin and then select a target parameter. The LFO will then modulate the value of that parameter. We can adjust settings of the modifier as well. If we switch back to the plugin, we can see that parameter being modified. The last thing we might want to do is save our project to a file. We can do that by pressing the lemon button and the save button to render the current project. That was a quick high level overview of the lemon 3 device. The project was designed using open source technologies to keep the project as accessible as possible. The digital audio workstation you see running on screen is custom and was created using the Juice C++ framework and an open source audio engine called the Traction Engine. The switches and encoders on the PCB are connected to a TNC 4.1 microcontroller, which communicates with the Raspberry Pi by sending MIDI messages over USB. These MIDI messages are what control what is happening on screen. As I said before, it's all open source, and there is something there for everybody to work on and contribute back. Whether you want to write code, help design the enclosure, reroute the PCB, or improve the design of the application, you can find everything on GitHub linked in the description below. If you're interested in building one, please check out the build guide.